Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Scorpion and we are back on Destiny with today the launch of Season of the Arrivals, i.e. Season 11. And with a new season brings a lot of new things. Starting off, you'll start with a little intro mission to Io. You will be forced to do this alone and that will be basically the introduction to uh, the present story so far. I won't say anything for those who haven't seen it, they just want a curiosity thing. And also the new artifact. One of those things, which I shall be going over now. And for those who are curious, this is, will be a new things brought about with the new season. So, starting with artifact mods. We have unstoppable mod for pulse rifles, overload for arrow, or bow and arrow, unstoppable for hand cannon, overload for hand cannon sidearm, and anti-bearer, I believe just plain auto rifle. So that is basically similar to the set we had in Season of the Undying, and it was a pretty solid set, and it's back now. And that is a pretty all-around one, more so close range, but yeah. Now, for reload and, ar and uh, armor mods, we have Enhanced Pulse Rifle Loader, Enhanced Unflinching Rifle Aim again, Enhanced Scatter Projectile Targeting again, I believe, and Enhanced Sword Scavenger again, another unique one and enhanced bow loader coming back. Now, I do remember reading uh, in a TWAB not long ago that basically some of these will be adding, uh, some of these similar perks will be added to the actual mod list, so we'll have that. In tier three, basically the resource farming ones, uh, defeating combatants with sword have a chance to grab a larger amount of glimmer. Defeating combatants with hand cans or sidearms grants a decent amount of glimmer. Then defeating enemies with auto rifles or submachine guns, grant glitter. Defeating taken, grant glitter. And then defeating taken with finishers, grant glimmer. So basically all the resources regarding glimmer this season. Now, getting into more so interesting ones. A new charge with light mechanic with the seasonal artifact. Basically, if you counter a champion in a way that shows up in the feed, i.e. staggering unstoppable, disrupting an overload, or piercing a barrier, you get a charge of light, and that is pretty handy. And something that I have not seen yet, unstoppable, uh, well, this says unstoppable post, but the picture's a scout. So an unstoppable down the line as an arm mod. I'm not sure if this is glitched or in need of adjusting, but it seems to be unstoppable scout as an arm armor mod. And overload nades for void grenades. Breach resonator, again, basically, you get melee grenade energy piercing barrier champions. An Infernal Whip. This was a handy one, but basically, you you punch a unstoppable champion with a solar a melee ability, and it staggers them. No problem. Now this is the big deal of this season, because this was back at, during season the Undying, season eight. Oppressive Darkness. Essentially, a melting point granted with a void grenade damage. This is bueno. Very very good. Excuse me. You will want this on all of your characters, regardless of what. This is super, super helpful. Uh, solar Plexus, back again from last season. Increasing damage from solar melee abilities and super energy from performing finishers with the solar subclass. Heavy finisher, uh, grants heavy ammo on the finisher. Then Volatile Conduction. Basically, if you are critically wounded, i.e. shields broken, I believe is the official designation, it grants bonus super damage. So yeah, that's a good one. And returning a personal favorite, Guardian Angel, where uh, precision final blows with precision weapons, scout rifles, snipers, bow, linear fusions, will grant a little healing pool. That is super beneficial and handy. So with all of those mods done, new mechanic of engrams. As you'll be going through about your business, you'll notice uh, umbral engrams dropping. When you pick those up, after you've done enough seasonal quest progression that will honestly tell you to do this, you will take it to this, the Ramshackle Cryptarch from the Umbral Decoder. You will basically just pick up whatever is out of these. It's basically a different engram to take here, and I'm assuming I haven't done yet with upgrades down the line with this fancy prismatic recaster, it will eventually uh, not only give you new mods based on the season, which I will cover later, but will also allow you to focus Umbral Engrams so they can grant something specific. Like here, a component requiring for improved armor focusing. Guardians who have unlocked this ability can use Trace Overrides to choose the primary stat of armor received from Umbral Engrams. Basically, 
this is how we start focusing on umbral engrams to pick and choose what we get from that so in addition to what is the new engram new eververse gear per the usual with a new arrival now they did update the uh archive to have a lot more of past seasons gear something that you might have missed from before uh basically all eververse armor sets there is the arc finisher the phoenix protocol armor uh ornament from i believe forsaken and then they have various other ones like third rail for risk runner the lord of wolves from last season uh several uh ornaments from past seasons that you would have wanted including uh various uh emotes and finishers uh sparrows basically a lot of things that you would have liked from past seasons that were popular that they wanted to make sure that you could still access if you missed it. A lot of quest exotics and various other things like Thorn. Uh... Man, Lumina. I really derped on the name of that. But moving on with the new seasonal gear. We have a decent variety of things in addition to a new seasonal starter pack with some bright dust consumables. A new ship called the Cuddle Bone, which is actually a pretty aw awesome name. Uh, nice little sh small ship, nothing too fancy, but nothing too bland. And then the protocycle, or photocycle, excuse me. A new sparrow, which honestly, I saw these in the trailer for the uh, dungeon. This one looks pretty crazy. It's it, made, it looks pretty cool, I gotta give it to the bungee. I might not like it, but it, I know somebody will. That actually looks very awesome. Now, the new Season of Arrivals finisher bundle. This is basically the new set of finishers that come with... Uh, the season we got a volleyball finisher and then we have a aerial snap kick basically just another fancy flying kick uh, I don't even think that animation might be right because I don't even think it made contact it really didn't <laughs> but we shall see if that's intentional and then we have the overhead heel cross basically a forward flipping front kick now that was all and then with new uh, what's it called elemental Finishers. For this one, we drop a basically tiny Nova Bomb on finished opponents, which I really like. I did take a peek at the Hunter. It is something to do with Night Star. Uh, or Spectral Blade Slash. I'm assuming for the Titan to be something about a Shield Bash in addition. Now, uh, there is, of course, new individual arm to uh, Transverse Steps. Very OG. Now, new ornaments, including Outbreak Prime with a old-fashioned... Uh, well... Uh, I, I mentioned it was uh, Garden of Salvation, but this actually, now that I look at it twice, is a more current armor set. A new Truth ornament for objective reality. A real square design, basically a color palette shift. And then this one, which is a personal favorite that I picked, is Obsidian Glass. A, like, uh, black glass design for last word. I will very much pe be picking that up. And then, ahead of its time for Wardcliff Coil, a pretty gnarly looking uh, addition. Uh, Wardcliff has a lot of the coolest uh, uh, ornaments. And then, several new uh, emotes of various types of transmats so far. And now, as that is the new Eververse and basic roundup of new things that are happening, with this new season, there is a new public event that essentially is playing Gambit without invaders that happens on IO currently. After the entrance ex uh, exam, excuse me, after the entrance mission, it will tell you, it will, after one or two steps, it'll eventually take you to the Lost Oasis to do this public event. You don't have to finish it, you just have to complete it and earn Umbra Engram from there. I'm not sure. I am waiting on friends to actually continue, but it does seem we have an idea. A, an actual idea of where we're going to be going with new quests and such. Now, that is about all that I have for you now. Uh, after the stream, you can now officially pre-order the Destiny 2 Beyond Light expansion, which is up and coming fall expansion. Pre-order bonus, you do get the No Time to Explain Catalyst and Ornament. No Time to Explain being a Destiny 1 exotic. A new Sparrow featured in the trailer. New Emblems, a Freeze Tag exotic emote, which I hope is as cool as it looks. And an exotic rimmed ghost shell, or rhymed, or however you say that. Including new four scenes of the Destiny. And uh, currently, there is a collector's edition available for $200 American. And uh, I have already secured it, just because I hate missing out on those, and last time I hate it. So if you want collector's edition, limited 
amount of purchases, so be sure to pick it up if you want it. Now, that shall be all for now. I will have an in-depth guide either on a separate character for various uh, seasonal things, and I shall also, either that or I will take you onto a separate account to work on those so I can see how that goes. But aside from that, my name is Matt Scorpion. This is the brief interlude of what is new with Season 11, the basics of what is coming in the very start of what you can see in Day 1. So with that, my name is Matt Scorpion, and I will see you in the next video.